Hello, boys and girls. I'm your Peter Pan storyteller. When you hear this sound, turn the page. This is the story of Little Brave Sambo. Once upon a time, there was a little boy who lived in the deep, dark jungles of Africa. His name was Little Sambo. His mother was called Mumbo. And his father was called Jumbo. One day, Sambo said to his mother, I'd like to have some pretty clothes. Will you make them for me, please? And so Mumbo made Sambo a beautiful red coat and a pair of blue trousers. Then Sambo's father, Jumbo, went to the bazaar and bought him a beautiful green umbrella and a lovely pair of purple shoes with crimson soles and crimson linings. Little Sambo felt so grand in his new clothes that he couldn't help singing. I'm Little Brave Sambo, Little Brave Sambo, dressed in the prettiest clothes. My jacket is red, my trousers are blue, a green umbrella and purple shoes. I'm Little Brave Sambo, Little Brave Sambo, dressed in the prettiest clothes. Sambo was so proud of his fine clothes that he decided to show them off to all his friends in the jungle. So off he went. By and by, he met a tiger, and the tiger said to him, Ho, 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 I'm going to eat you up. Oh, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I'll give you my beautiful red coat. Very well, I won't eat you this time. So the tiger put on little Sambo's red coat and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. <laughs> by and by, little Sambo met another tiger. Ho, 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 I'm going to eat you up. Please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up, and I'll give you my beautiful blue trousers. Very well, I won't eat you this time. So the tiger put on little Sambo's trousers and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. By and by, little Sambo met another tiger. Ho, 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 I'm going to eat you up. Me, oh my, please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I will give you my beautiful purple shoes. Your shoes? They're too small for me. Besides, I've got four feet and you have only two. You could wear them on your ears, Mr. Tiger. So I could. So I could. That's a very good idea. The tiger put little Sambo's shoes out his ears and went away saying, Now I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. <laughs> It wasn't long before Sambo met still another tiger. Ho, 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 I'm going to eat you up. Please, Mr. Tiger, don't eat me up. I'll give you my beautiful green umbrella. How can I carry an umbrella? I need my paws for walking. You could tie a knot in your tail and carry it that way. So I could, so I could. The tiger took little Sambo's umbrella and went away saying, now, I'm the grandest tiger in the jungle. Now, turn the record over, and we will continue on the other side. Sambo, after having all his fine clothes taken away by the tigers, started on his way home feeling as sad as can be. I'm poor little Sambo, I'm sad as can be. The tigers have taken my clothes from me. What shall I do? What shall I do? I'm poor little Sambo and sad as can be.
Presently, Sambo heard a horrible noise that grew louder and louder. Oh, dear, that must be the tigers coming back to eat me up. What shall I do? Sambo ran quickly to a palm tree and peeped around to see what the matter was. And there he saw all the tigers fighting and arguing which of them was the grandest. Then the tigers jumped up and took off all the fine clothes that Sambo had given them. One by one they grabbed each other by the tail and found themselves in a ring around the tree. Round and round they whirled, and still faster and faster, till they all just melted away into a great big pool of melted butter. Oh my, look what happened. The tigers have melted into a pool of butter. Now I can wear all my beautiful clothes again. And so little Sambo gathered up his clothes, put them on, and hurried home singing. I'm little brave Sambo, little brave Sambo, dressed in the prettiest clothes. My jacket is red, my trousers are blue, a green umbrella and purple shoes. I'm little brave Sambo, little brave Sambo, dressed in the prettiest clothes. Just about this time, Jumbo was coming home from his work with a great big brass pot in his arms. When he saw what was left of the tigers, he said, Oh, what lovely melted butter. I think I'll take it home to Mumbo for her to cook with. So he put it all into the big brass pot and carried it home to Mumbo. When Mumbo saw the butter, she cried, Now we'll all have pancakes for supper. Oh, boy, how I love pancakes. Sambo saw the melted butter, Jumbo put it in a pot. Mumbo took the melted butter, look at what she's got. Pancakes, pretty little pancakes, eat them while they're good and hot. Pancakes, pretty little pancakes, Mumbo made an awful lot. Little Sambo, Mumbo, Jumbo ate as much as they all could. Melted butter from the tiger made the pancakes taste so good. Mumbo ate just 50 pancakes. Papa Jumbo ate 89. But little Sambo had the most of all. He ate 199. Gee, I was so hungry. Mumbo ate just 50 pancakes. Jumbo ate just 89. Sambo ate the most of all. He ate 199. 